All right, it's finally here. The much ballyhooed and much awaited upon schedule for the Eagles and all teams across the league, 32 of them. The Eagles 2023 schedule has been released. And now we know where the 49ers, the 40 winers, you know, games li game lines, the Cowboys, the, all the divisional matchups, the matchup with the Chiefs, rematch, the Super Bowl rematch. I don't really get into that because it ain't for a ring, ain't for jewelry. I don't give a, it ain't for a ring. I don't give a, it ain't a Philly thing. Anyways, we're going to get into it and go game by game and break down and analyze what is most likely to happen and see how many wins we're going to be slated to, you know, get out of this thing. What's up? It's your boy Centron coming back at you another analysis slash news video and I kid you not that's my real name we're gonna get into the teensy bent news but man you can see here on the screen Eagles schedule analysis game by game win loss record prediction so they're gonna predict and I'm gonna kind of go along with them and see if I agree disagree or just eh, you know if I'm ambivalent I don't know we'll see man yeah AJ Brown man touchdowns up <laughs> beat the crap out of the Giants in the 38-7 uh, divisional round uh, matchup we had with them so eh We'll see. Uh, last year, they had 11-6 record. We end up, end up, you know, winning three more games than they predicted. 14-3, and three, you know, set a franchise record. But, you know, 17 games slated, you know, slate schedule never had happened. So, it wasn't a 16 game um, like they had previously, previously done in 2017 with 13 wins. So, um, I'll give that, that, that year. And we won the championship as well that year, the, the credits it deserves. Anyways, week one, got New England Patriots, man. Um... Or a little bit of a rematch here with Juju Boo Boo Smith Schuster. Don't really care. Um, you know, he's not going to be the determining factor because this one I have as a dub. Um, I agree with them. They they have it here going down as a win. Um, us going 1 0. And I just think, you know, Matt, Mac Jones, you know, he's the leader there, that, that team, at least at quarterback. He just, he's been too up and down. He's been too inconsistent. He hasn't really showed um, a lot. You know, he's had, you know, spots where, you know, he, he's been on, but. He got replaced by what is it, Zane Beatles or not Zane Beatles? I'm, I'm sorry, the uh, whatever his name is, the backup quarterback. And they were actually thinking about running a two quarterback system, which is crazy in this day and age. You need a you know a competent leader that's going to take the majority of the snaps at quarterback, you know, precluding them being healthy. You know, he, he and he was so uh, being in the timeshare just doesn't speak to uh, your your credibility out there. You know, on the field maturity. You know, nonetheless, he was. You know, dropping f bombs and um, complaining, whining, wasn't seen in the best light with his coaches. So, um, I have this going on as a win, even though it's going to be on the road. They have a better than expected defense. They added some pieces, like you know, in particular at corner. I think they added an edge rusher. I forget. Um, but you know, they, they're not you know slouches. But um, their demise hasn't been a greatly exaggerated. They slipped after Tom Brady left, and um, just haven't been the same. And uh, it has to do with, you know, them not having the central, you know, cog there, the quarterback position. It starts and ends in the league with that position. So um, I'm hoping that, you know, me the mediocrity continues, at least for week one. And uh, it's a season opener and most, most teams are rusty. You know, maybe something consistent you can lean on, a run game. We're going to have that. And the O-line, you know, they haven't forgot how to, you know, to block. So I like them to win. Um, I'm not going to say handily, but, you know, and maybe a decisive matter. It could be by like a you know, 14 point swing or something like that. Um, but us to go, you travel up to, you know, to uh, New England and get the dub. Let's look at week two, the Minnesota Vikings. I don't think, I, I think this goes out as a win as well. I don't have us um, steamrolling you know, them like we did last year. Maybe in part because, you know, uh, Jay Jetter, Justin Jefferson finally has a running mate. Um, worthy of some attention, but it it's week two as well, so it's really early in the season. It'll be um, interesting to see how you know, he gets tested. He's going to get tested with a you know a duo of corners that you know ranked really high last year, and Darius um, Slay, and um, you know big play Slay and um, J James Bradbury. I don't. I mean, I would like to say Slay takes him again, and I think that's a good matchup um, for Bradbury. You know, be disciplined, a, a route runner, and, and Addison. And uh, he's skinny, so he, he's gonna get the full press. Pause um, the whole night. Pause, but we'll, we'll see how that how that goes. But um, I don't. I forget how you know Minnesota drafted, but they didn't have that many you know draft picks to uh, in the first uh, round. Uh, first round, I mean, early um, in, on day one and day two. So they were you know they were scantily clad as far as you know the talent goes, being able to add additions. But 
they did make some, you know, some some noteworthy picks. But I, I like us um, to just overwhelm them, um, sticking with, you know, what we do well. And the defense, you know, lost a couple pieces. Pat, Patrick Peterson left for the Steelers. And um, they, they, they haven't changed that much. So I, I like the Eagles to, uh, you know, at home, a home opener to, uh, to get it done on Thursday Night Football. A short week. But actually, I think we were like four and zero, or or four out of five. You know, victories as far as on a short week last year, um, and we only have this is the only Thursday night football game we have. So um, our schedule, we have the toughest schedule. Um, I think at five, six, six. Um, yeah, but we have um, we don't we're not on the road too long. Not too many. Um, not too, you know distance travel. We have the you know the least amount of time to travel. So. It, in that re regard, so, you know, I think it's a balanced schedule for what they're asking for because obviously we um, have to face <laughs> a lot tougher uh, quarterbacks than we did last year. So we, nobody's going to be complaining, oh, we didn't face anybody last year, man. We have kind of a murder murder's row. And um, it, it, you know, 10 games after our initial five are, are kind of brutal. So um, as far as, you know, playoff opponents, we play five, I think, in a row. So we'll get to that later. Anyways, excited. Um, let's see here. Tampa Bay. I have this as a win as well. I just, I didn't have time to scroll down, you know, three and oh, so we start, you know, the, the year off three and oh, and every win is going to count because, you know, playoff seating and then, you know, games against, you know, divisional, um, in division opponents. And, you know, for those losses, if we do suffer some to the AFC, you know, it's going to go into the magic formula and, and, you know, be you know discombobulated and, and calculated or whatever to, uh, see who had the overall stronger schedule. So, Every, you know, win that we can, you know, scrape up in that first, um, within the first five weeks is going to count. And also, we'll see later. I'm going to hold off. But um, the Tampa Bay Bucks, they don't even know who's going to be under center. Is it going to be, the, I think, the second year guy? Um, who's, eh, you know, he's decently regarded. Or Baker Mayfield, who's, you know, his fourth or fifth franchise thus far. You know, he, he didn't show, he could have stuck around with the Rams, but, it, you know, he didn't, um they showed them enough, you know, for them to stick with them. And, you know, he's supposed to be the, the guy in Cleveland. And, he, you know, played very, you know, very well over the first couple of years of his career. But he just was never, never able to stick with them. And, um, yeah, they, they didn't they didn't, uh, they didn't believe in, in him and his ability. I think he's a talented guy, but just, he's just the consistency um, and, and elevating his game. And uh, I think he's maybe average to slightly a to an above average quarterback right now, but there's so many moving pieces there in Tampa, you know, guys leaving and, and they're just they're going to be trying to establish themselves. And like I said, this early in the season, you got to take advantage of teams, this combobulation. I'm not saying we're going to be perfect as well. I think our defense is going to need time to gel, but you know, we have an offense, I mean, an identity on offense, go out and establish that and, and test them, you know, and I don't think, you know, they can stop maybe some of our, you know, like passing game, but they're not going to be able to contain it. And there's the running game, and then with the element of Jalen Hurts in there as well. So it's going to uh, hopefully be a massacre there. But I think we win handily um, in Tampa. But, you know, maybe like someone said, um, the heat could play a, a factor. But in September, it, it's, it shouldn't be too oh, well too bad. But then Northern Florida, it, it could be. But just stay hydrated, guys. All right. Versus the Washington Commanders here. Uh, man, is that home? I, I have us going out as a win. And I, it, for me, it, it really, you know, is um, based on the fact that they're going to be starting a second-year guy. Yes, he did light the crap out of the um, the Dallas Cowboys in the season finale um, and showcased that, you know, it was a bad moon rising for the Cowboys. You know, it was a premonition of things to come for them in the playoffs as they, you know, would struggle. Um, yeah, I mean, because they, they didn't pull any starters. They, they were playing, you know, to win, and they lost the game. So... Um, and the, their defense is legit, you know, especially at D-line. They re-signed, re um, uh, Deron Payne. I think he got four years, like, you know, 22 or 23 million a year. So, I mean, uh, he, he's, he's balling on that. Um, but yeah, they don't, the offense, you know, is he going to be able to, uh, to take strides? He's only a second year guy. So, I mean, I, this is where I really want to see how, like, the, especially during that early stretch, first five games, how Sean Desai is going to, you know, play against these quarterbacks. And, um, like, I always, I've been saying this, you know, um, in the past, you know, across videos, but three things is he's going to disguise 
um, is going to blitz and is he going to be, to be able to make adjustments. If he can do those things, even just to a moderate level, to an average level, in the, in the first five, that will be all we need because the offense, I think, you know, will be able to carry the defense until they can kind of catch up. We don't know how well, what's the ceiling gonna, is going to be on this this uh, this defense, but um, at the very worst, even if they're average, the offense can carry them, you know, which wouldn't be ideal, but we, we'll see how it goes. And we've restocked. Um, we, we lost Hargraves. You know, we restocked with Jalen Carter. Um, we lost our linebackers. We, you know, restocked with, you know, a guy coming in in second year and Nicobe Dean. Um, and he, he's expected to uh, play a lot of quality snaps as well as um, a guy, Nicholas Morrow, coming over by way of the uh, the Chicago Bears from the Raiders. And, you know, he's gotten better each and every year, had, you know, a um, career high in tackles, 116 last year. And, you know, he's, he's very good in coverage, and he's, he's also a decent rusher. So um, kind of maybe in a slightly ascending talent we got, you know, for very cheap. He's making like a million and a half, I think, or 1.6 million or something like that. But, you know, I think he has very little to maybe if – none at all guaranteed money so um that was a win for us but you know he, we can also maybe still upgrade that linebacker position we don't know what how he's going to do um he's a wild card he's a maverick out there um especially in the nfl you know amongst his peers who don't like the, all the accolades and you know the praise that he's getting then just go out there and do your job then what are you complaining about you have the same opportunities he does you sleep the same 24 i'm not 24 hours you see the same have the same 24 hours he does in a day go out there and get it done stop chin and moaning um, but anyways, I, I, I like this team that we would assemble better than the Washington, you know, commanders, even though they're talented, they're, good, they're dealing with so many things that just off the field, Daniel Snyder might even be, not be, the, might not even be the owner by the time this, you know, this, this, um, this summer passes. And, um, it's another thing, you know, their name, you know, the team, and then, you know, the composition, they brought in Carson Wentz, which is just a, you know, a blunder headed mistake, but Hey, you want to be dysfunctional? You like it? I love it. Because you're a divisional opponent in, in, in FC, so you're uh, at odds with us. I love your dysfunction. It helps us out. All right, anyways, uh, week five at Los Angeles. i like us to win this game. It, it'll, I think this will be a, the toughest game maybe yet that we face because they have, you know, the requisite talent. Aaron Donald is a, is a game record, but I love the way that we dealt with Michael Parsons last year. You know, we ran right at him and, you know, effectively took him out of the play by um, – you know, making him, you know, also run, run, you know, the length of the field. I mean, like our opposite direction and letting him take himself out the play. Um, so, I mean, yeah, making him make decisions in real time and it, he's, dun, 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 he, he logged off, you know, he, he got overloaded at, at times and he was like the direct cause of, you know, some big chunk plays and after I think a touchdown, um, maybe a second or third touchdown. But anyways, like, it, it, it's, uh, you know, like I said, Aaron Donald. I have a lot of guys coming back. Cooper Cup, uh, Matthew Stafford, who were all, you know, uh, injured at some point and went on, you know, IR. But they you know, also lost some talent. Um, and, yeah, it, it just, you know, they're coming into their own, adding the pieces that they did. And they, they haven't been able to add. They didn't have a, set, a, a first round pick in seven years running, continue, you know, um, uh, including this year, which is crazy when you think about it. And um, they paid the price for the you know the Super Bowl win. They, yeah, they won it you know two years ago, but um, you know the, the the talent that they, they did bring. They already traded one of the guys that they brought in on with one of those first round picks, uh, Jalen Ramsey. You know, shipped him off to the uh, to South Beach in, in Miami. There, so I mean, there's a cost to um, building a team through uh, strictly through free agency and through trades. Um, it doesn't allow you to assemble a core for too long, and those guys, you know, they really price themselves out of you know out of your building because you can't sustain um, the, those high, you know, a chunk of you know, a small chunk of uh, a small portion of your your um, salary cap being occupied by guys who are older and you know make you know make a large amount of money and, but are a small contingency number of people so. I mean, that's just a crazy way to build a team. But, I mean, hey, if it pays off and you get the chip even once every 10 years, who, I mean, who's to say you shouldn't build like that? Anyways, I think we won that game. And um, it has more to do with, you know, them not being a complete, complete team. And having, we, just, we have a better roster, roster. All right, so they have us, you know, losing here uh, for the first time. This is going to be an interesting game um, at the Jets. So Aaron Rodgers, it all depends on how well he gels with the team. 
he still is Aaron Bleepin' Rogers. And um, I think this would be a good, well, not, this would be, the, I keep, I'm probably going to say this several times, but this would be the best test as of yet. And um, for our, our quarterback and um, not our quarterback, our, um, our defense, Earthquake, damn. Um, but it all depends on how our defense is playing up until this point and how they, uh, how Sean Desai is coaching this game. Um, I think we can go toe to toe with them. I actually have, I, I have this as a win, man. I just don't think, um, Aaron Rodgers is enough to put them over the top. And yeah, they have, they have like guys like, um, that can lock down, um, our receivers like Sauce Gardner. The second corner isn't bad, you know, either. They made some up, you know, upgrades, and that defensive line is nasty with Quentin Williams um, at the center, and he was a, a destroyer last year. That being said, I still like us to scrape out the dub um, with us having our identity, you know, us being able to hit you with a run in the past. But I think it'd be, you know, it'll be tough sledding, and then it's in their house. So this game could go either way. I, I still see it as, as a win. Um, but, hey, you chalk this up as a loss. I'm not arguing with you on that. All right, versus the Miami Dolphins. We're at home. Um, yes, we have Tariq Hill. Um, yeah. He could be too much for, like, yeah, for the secondary. But I think that, you know, like, um, yeah. It, it, the defensive backfield is, is not is not bad. And I think it all depends on how, you know, Tua. If we can get pressure on Tua... Then I think this game is ours. Um, but, you know, we shall see. Like, I mean, like, Robbie Anderson, who's, you know, now chosen Anderson. Jalen Wild on Tyreek Hill, that's a lot of speed. That's 4-4, four, 4-3, four, four, and 4-2 speed <laughs> incrementally, you know, getting faster. But um, we shall see, man. We shall see. It's week seven. It, it's, you know, heading, you know, building ahead of steam. You should kind of be finding out who your team is at this point. But, um, man, what a hell of a matchup. Um, I, I have us winning this one as well. I think, you know, it could, could turn into a shootout, depending on how we play. But I think, you know, our offense just overwhelms the, the Miami Dolphins defense, and that just gives, gives us the edge. But I do think it, it'll be a shootout. Theoretically, it should be. All right, week eight at, you know, at Washington Commanders. This is where we took a loss last time. Um, and it's similar, I think it, may, it might have been week nine, because um, we, we were coming in, we were, I think, eight and no. And you know, end up being eight and one. So, um, not to overlook them, but um, yeah, I mean, like it all depends who's playing at this, at this point. Is um, Sam Howell starting, or is it going to be Brissett? Because I forgot they did pick him up this offseason, and I would start him over him. And like, I mean, I just don't, I don't see the the you know the rhetoric of you know, I don't understand the rhetoric of going with him. Um, yes, I can understand that you know he's a he's a talented quarterback and he played well in, in the season closer. But that being said, like, this is a lost year because, I mean, he's going to be taking his lumps on the job and teams are going to patiently wait for him to mature and grow. Um, so, I mean, like I said, that deep, like I said, the defense is, uh, is really tough and it's hard to sweep them. But I, that being said, I still think that we could sweep the, the, uh, the high probability you know, of that happening, that we do sweep the Washington Commanders and we should be 8-0 and at this point. All right, here's versus the Dallas Cowboys. Um, you just, you just have the better roster, man. And we're at home. Um, Dak Prescott versus Jalen Hurts. Finally, if he's healthy. I mean, hell, you know, last time it was Cooper Rush. Um, and we played them. No, no, it, it, was, it, was in, it was in Philly. I just, man, the Cowboys, man. I, I think they, yeah, they, made, they made some strides to get a number two receiver in, in Brandon Cooks. Um, who, you know, he's... Had a, a string of thousand yard seasons, um, traded from Texans. This guy's the most traded guy. <laughs> we gotta be, you know, in the, in the history of the NFL, one of them, you know, which is crazy for how talented he is. And they are brought in Stephen Gilmore from the Colts, um, still a talented corner at 32, albeit, you know, he's 32 and getting older. But our current corners are also older. Darius Slay, I think, is 30, 30, 32 or gonna be 33, um, this year. So, and James Rapper isn't too far behind him at 30. But like I said, you know, we match up well as far as, like, now with, the, you know, the corners and, and, and receivers on both sides. Um, but I think it comes down to that run game, and they just can't – they couldn't stop us last year. So I think that gives us the edge. 
So we shall see, man. We shall see. We have a buy, which is perfect at this time of the year. It splits it like kind of like schedule right down the middle. I think we're gonna need that rest. Week eleven, man, and coming off a buy, I don't know what Nick Sirianni, Sirianni's record is, but I know um, our former coach Andy Reid has a hell of a record coming off a buy. Um, I have us coming coming down with a loss here. It's, it's tough. We, you know, like, until we come out here and beat them, I'm not saying we can't beat them. I just, you know, I'm going off of you know the last game we played, even though it was not on an even playing field. Quite literally, it was a swamp we were playing in. Um, Patrick Mahomes, until we can show that, you know, and this is going to be the best test yet in a litany of tests, you know, that we're going to have, at, you know, um, versus, versus competent quarterbacks that, you know, we've faced. And are they going to be able to, you know, get to him? Retooled, like I said, in the offseason, and he brought another guy, Nolan Smith, to go and hunt the quarterback because that's 439 speed. You know, a great guy. We can play him at Sam, play him at Will, play him at, you know, Edge, strictly, you know, um, any of the combination, you know, fake that, fake rushes you know have him dropping the coverage you know he's gonna he's a solid guy in coverage not the best not gonna get a huge amount of picks or whatever but he's very uh more he's more than serviceable and more than competent uh, can handle himself um so it, it's going to be interesting man um and you know he didn't pass for a lot 180 yards but he had three tds lit us apart um our d coordinator was you know distracted Counting his, his Benjamins already, you know, his new new contract with, you know, the Arizona Cardinals. So, um, this will be a very good litmus test, you know, for our defense and, and very, you know, showing and what it's kind of like our year is going to be like. And uh, if we can go out there and beat Mahomes, I think that'll give us all the confidence in the world. All right, week 12 versus Buffalo. I have this as a... Ah, I don't know, man. I don't have this as a loss. Um... I just think that the, their defense can't hold up to what we have. I mean, we'll see how Ron Miller comes back and uh, rounds into form. They do have a solid secondary. Those two safeties back there, Poirier and um, I forget the name. And then uh, Trey White, how does, how is he come? You know, he, he didn't have the best season coming off of ACL injury. Um, yeah, and Michael Hyde, sorry, the other safety. But it, it'll be interesting, man. Um, I I think that's something the edge at home. Like I said, Josh Allen is a, a talented quarterback, but I think we can force him into mistakes. Stephon Diggs is a hell of a receiver, but you know I think this will be a great challenge for Slay, and he can he can he can shut down um, Stephon Diggs. But I mean, I think this is the game that he will get up for literally because he sees himself as a top five corner in the league. Go out there and prove it, Slay. So I have us, you know, coming up, um, as a you know win here, so we're we would be. Um, Nine and ah, damn, I'm forgetting. So we we we've lost one game, and uh, anyways, we lost one game to the Chiefs only. So I mean, I gotta go out there and yeah, yeah, I gotta, yeah, go out there and I don't know. Anyways, week thirteen, I was winning this game as well, just for the fact that yeah, we're not scared of Purdy or Trey Lance, but who's their quarterback gonna be? Or Sam Donald? Sam Donald, I think um he's he's very solid. But I don't think he push them, pushes them over the edge, you know. So um, the defense is not not a scratch, but I think our defense, even with a, it be, you know being a downgrade to the the four ers we still could get the job done, and we you know we can pressure the guy. Um, but yeah, it's one of those revenge games. You know, the Bo Samuel's hates the Eagles. He's he's gonna be up for this game, and uh, Christian McCaffrey he showed out the last you know the last game. Even though you know he was handicapped, with not having a quarterback, him having to be the emergency quarterback, um, but yeah, I just think they're not they don't they're not solid at the quarterback position. They brought somebody in, maybe B Baker Mayfield. It, I think maybe you have a better shot. He's at least a gunslinger and gives you know those guys out there on the edge, and um, their tight end George Kittle as well, who's a monster, um, a chance you know. So he didn't even get a chance to get started last time. So um, right now we're. 10, 11, 11 and 1. Finally got the numbers right in my in my scorecard. All right, so at Dallas, uh, I mean, yeah, I would say a split is a smart bet. So let's just say here that we go to two, 11 and 2. Um, it just, it's just hard to beat, you know, beat everybody twice. And I could say that, you know, on paper, we're the better team, but I'm not going to go out there and just throw. You got to, there's got to be some losses in there somewhere. Let's just say we drop one here to Dallas, so we're eleven and two, but our record is still much better than theirs, most likely. 
at Seahawks, they have this as another loss. I don't. Um, I think we'll be 12 and, and, and two here. Um, just for the fact that even though we're traveling, Gino has to prove it. I, I, I just, even though he'll have more weapons yet, you know, Smith and Jibba, which will really test our corners, you know, um, down to Avante Maddox. Is Avante Maddox even healthy? Is he even playing right now? We shall see. And that'll be, I think that'll be, you know, the huge factor in this game. If we have all three of our corners, because we didn't have him in Dallas. We lost him in Dallas, and that was kind of the cat you know, catalyst for us losing that match. They targeted, you know, Scott heavily. Move um their top receiver, um, not Michael Gallup, not that scrub. Um his name evades me, he has dreads, golly. C C D Lamb into the slot and just, you know, had him moving all over the formation to, hey, where's Scott? Let's man him up on him and let him run routes. You know, let him get guaranteed catches and yards and TDs. Anyways, um, yeah, I, I I just don't think they can contain us on defense as well. Like, their defense is still re re rebuilding. They struggle against the run. Uh, like, five teams in a row that we, you know, face that, you know, struggle against the run. And Seattle, Seattle Seahawks, you know, being one of them, will run down the throat. Maybe with Penny for him to get a little revenge. <laughs> if he's even can healthy at this point, we'll see, we shall see. Um, so, I have us as 11-2. Um, versus New York Giants. This is the first matchup, but I like us. Um, maybe they run into form. Maybe they're using um, the receiver from Tennessee, Justin Hyatt. You know, he, he can be a big game changer for them. At, um, playing on the interior and sometimes moonlighting on the outside. But we shall see, man. I think their defense is, 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 is really good as well. Um, they did, you know, lose a few pieces here and there, but they brought in some guys like how's the, the the rookie uh bank in the corner banks out of Maryland who's fast, big, um, competent, one of the top corners in the draft. So how is he playing at this point? Is he learning or is he regressing or is he kind of just hanging on or just average? So their defense really kind of like dictate, dictates how this match will go because they they played the run solidly I think in one game. Uh, well, no, nah, that was a throwaway the season ender, but. Yeah, regular season ender. But I have us winning this game, so we're now 13 and 2. Cardinals. And you know, it's 13 and 14 and uh and 2. And then let's just say we drop this game just because it's you know we're not playing for anything. And the Giants probably maybe are. They could be playing for contention. Uh we go 14 and 3. So I have us as, with the same record as last year. That's, I mean, I'm being optimistic. I have us at, in a range going from 11 wins to to 14. So that's my realistic, you know, um, prediction. But, hey, man, a lot. This hinges on a lot going right. And we'll see how the Eagles play, um, and chiefly on defense. We know that they're going to remain the same on offense with Brian Johnson kind of continuing the same system. Maybe taking a little bit more charge and, you know, making Jim a little more dynamic in usage and, um, using hopefully the running back out of the backfield in DeAndre Swift, the weapon that we picked up from Detroit. But we shall see, man. It'll be interesting, man. It'll be interesting. Uh, one thing I do want to say, we're going to look, you know, this real quick. Kyle Shanahan wants to make sure his whole team is there for the Week 13 Eagles match rematch matchup. Then make sure you don't put a tight end on our, our best pass rusher, Hassan Reddick, who knocked your quarterback Brock Purdy out of the game. It's just dumb, but it's just your own ar arrogance. They got your own quarterbacks killed. You lost not one, not two, not even three, but four quarterbacks last year. Just shows your incompetence at protecting your guys. It's the most important position on the field. You think you would allocate more resources to protect those guys. But anyways, eh. you hey, like I said, your struggles are my game. You like it? I love it. I like DeMar Hamlin, baby. But anyways, we're going to get up out of here. You're not even watching, though. But I do appreciate you. Like, my new subscriber, man, awesome, bro. I, um, Don. Don Lewis, love you, dude. Anyways, we're going to get out of here. As always, it's Fly Eagles Fly, and let's mother get go. Thanks for watching. Check me out at Centron, Centron Anime, Centron Life, or Centron Laughs. Or other social media.